Mother's Day to you all, all the beautiful mothers out there, my madam, your always sister them all over. Happy Mother's Day to my wife. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. You know, um, happy Mother's Day to all the NGC ladies, um, you know, all over the world, the diaspora and back home. I want to wish you all the best. And happy Mother's Day to all Sierra Leone and Roma, them. All both in the diaspora, I don't know how they say, in the free tongue and upline and all over the country. Happy Mother's Day to Una. Of course, me and I want my winner just to celebrate Mother's Day or the day. I believe, say, we always get for celebrate with wife and with woman them every other day. You know, we have to appreciate them being around us. Monday, I want to take care of our woman them, not to pass Mother's Day for be a special day. Every day should be a special day, I think so, and I believe so. You know, make your wife feel special every other day. That's how it should be. So, uh, without much ado, let me just say this. I want to shed light one of two things. You know, I don't hear a lot of noise, a lot of talk. I did watch the Facebook. I could keep track on Tuesday. I did keep track of what's up. I see people them way purport for call themselves NGC members, you know, and then they talk for saying now they're no longer NGC members and all that kind of stuff. Then they so first of all, the people they we know say they all now be the, the the molds them what we get within the NGC party. We delegate today if self then stiff the election away and like are stiff so then this new government in the power and because of people like that they will be there amongst we missed. But everything happens for a reason, letting the ghost small, small. Because people like that, and they may not even talk to them. They know themselves, and they're on Facebook, and they're on WhatsApp, and they talk all kinds of scamish. Some of these people, they've never even met Dr. Yim Kelagwana, the leader of the NGC party. They don't even know the caliber of the individual they're talking about. They don't ever take the time for the research and look at the man in biography, look the man in life where he don't live, the achievements where he don't attain, to the highest point that is life. But the only thing we're sometimes missing right now it is the fact that he is not a president of uh, Sierra Leone. Because we know say that man don't reach to a certain level where he is one of the most achieved Sierra Leoneans them. Now the dunia, there is none like any other way to compare to Dr. Imkela within the Sierra Leone stratosphere. So that is a lot later fact, it's a fact, you know. But we have to move on. And all I'm saying is, this I want to encourage NGC members them on this special day today. We were faithful to the cause. We will believe in the ideology of change. We will know exactly what we will be faithful. What we want, not what we get to right now. Yes, but salon people, I want to stay strong. I want to stay vigilant. I want to believe in ourselves. Just like I would always believe in ourselves. Because we no say, we deserve better, and we can do better. And salon people, the resilience we get, it's not like any other in the dunia. But I want to not get immune to this hard time and difficulty when we go through. So we get this new government. And this new government here, so yes, they knew, look, get a chance. I know they can't, I can't begin to talk for this government, say, talk this, talk that. No, no, no. Two, three months, whatever, it's still young, then get them for set themselves up together. But I believe, say, if we, the NGC, be take over this country today, like today, the issues that we are fighting for, take today, we know that nobody say anything. We want, waiting at the plan of the government for water, running water for Kamna people and host them, let people and let for get water and treat. The pipe system all over the country, it's a shame, it's a disgrace. Any time where you go, so so pipe, pipe all over the place. Yes, this government come, they do that dirty monthly Saturday cleaning. Fine, it's okay. But not to say for B, we don't say not for B that way. But they're doing good because what you do, the previous government was not doing anything concerning the cleaning of the country, you know? So it's a problem. It is a problem. Yes, so this new government don't tackle that, that, that situation, they, then they take care of her. But what are the plans that they have for prevent people from the come out and tam, you know, trample upon the, the rights of the, the citizens in that country? They. We're not going for the rule by decree again for say, now government they can't, can't tell people for they go clean. Waiting at the plans of the government for make sure, say, they ensure say people begin for collect and trash them from inside their house, dispose of the trash them properly. Salon people, and I saw it for B. We're not for left waiting when they do Saturday. Now, waste of resources, waste of of time waste of money when I for day about let the economy they thrive and grow the hour and day when I decide I also to do anything on a Saturday it's a business day and most people get a chance for do what they for do especially when they work Monday to Friday you know so not to tell another world for waste time and, 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 and people in time and, and people and resources and people and, and money and again with the dwindle the economy the government for puts measures in place for make sure say yes they, they, they dispose of trash properly from inside people they house get community trash pin them where people they go they dispose their trash their Inside the trash bin and they government get vehicles, then trucks and where they come and pick them trash and they go dispose them, they recycle and they you know that is the role of the government, and this is what we are saying. But again, this government young, I'm not gonna come here and criticize this government. I'm only making one or two comments right now because I know say this government here will get fulfill the people of Salon again come 2023. You know, the five years they will not achieve anything. We're not gonna see 24 hour lights in our country. Day. 
We don't go see good running water go all over the country. Let's not get to running water supply. We know say that government, this government, not get plan for setting go zero in on one area. Say the educational system. Let we tackle them. We know say this government not get a plan. They they not get for one. So salon people them. We you say we yearn for change. We go for the change. We get the change. The change is coming. God bless Dr. Yumkela. We sacrifice. We left all way to the pan. They like it today. Who knows? Sometimes for me, the United Nations Secretary General. But they left him. He go for go sacrifice for six million Sierra Leoneans because he believe in us. I believe in us as a people. So NGC supporters. I know say yes, we're quiet, you know, we don't need to make noise, but now is the time for plan properly. You need plan in time of peace for war. You know the way stay where the time we reach for facts that they tell you one plan, you will fail. There's five P's. Five P's. Prior proper planning prevents problems. Those are the five P's. If you plan properly, you will prevent problems in the future. So that is my message to you as NGC folks. We have to come together. We have to galvanize. We are thinking of plans on how we for them. We will not be faithful believers in transformation of change that I come today. We will not say we cannot salon the one. Two earlier than 40 below women they lost their life every month in a salon to childbearing duties, to childbearing problems. Why are they happening that way? Because of lack of proper healthcare system. We know say this government is not going to deliver. We will wait, we will see, but salon people are going to stay steadfast. We are going to do what we could as diasporans. We will do what we will do as NGC members in that country. We are working on plans, we will try to see what we can do if we come up with, but it's up to us. Within the diaspora, for, for galvanize that support and make them happen. Not to pass away election, can I tell man is scrambling on one? Now is the time to plan. Now I make a launch my organization, Concerned Diaspora. Everybody can become a member. But right now, I get me board of directors, then we are all set up with, where I get to start up the process, first of all, because my focus is the healthcare, the educational system, and the agricultural sector in our country. One way or the other, we for impact the lives. You know, healthcare, we women, they not for die. My emphasis is mostly caring about the pregnant women. I want to get to a point where they register every pregnant woman, we for account for every woman who's pregnant. Because I find out, say, the one number one reason we make women, they die, with them, chat, with them born, not to with them born, they begin to die. Now, the postpartum side of them, we after they, they bleed, that bleeding, they, they don't get blood. If they don't get blood within the next two hours, they're going to die. That is what is killing our women. So these are the issues. But we know, say, this government is going to deliver. Salon people want to stay fast, want to stay steadfast, want to believe in that change. Dr. Yimkela in the parliament, the fifth owner, and he will continue to be a loud mouth leader for talk and point out the things that are wrong, waiting all right for the people of Salon. He will talk up. You know, it will sacrifice. Let will continue for pray for God and the strength and guidance. And all the other members of parliament, them, when I educate on ourselves, when I read the constitution, when I know what's in our rights, when I know the number for the clap, we president talk, when I clap. No, 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 no. Know your rights, know the limit of the president, or well, no, say one of the parliament get power past any of their folks that day. You go say, Why you really talk to no kind of yes? I'm young now, I got a family, I have things going. You guys are doing what you're doing. Me will sacrifice at some point one day, but for now, I'm just shedding light on the issues. So I love when all NGC members on a stay strong. When I will sit on the mention of Tayyip Kalana on a motor, they say, I don't left NGC, when I go to hell, we don't need una. We don't need una. It's not about quat quantity, it's about the quality of the individuals that we have. And NGC get quality folks, and that is what we need. So keep quiet and shut up and just stay in your curvy hole. We don't need you guys. If you don't want to be an NGC member, go ahead. You don't believe in transformation. You don't believe in change. So but funana so so bella bella business from Nepal because I look for position and all that stuff. Then they not so that we want. We want the betterment of our country, a betterment of our people. So I left this message now in a long guys. I love Funa Ibrahim. Funa take care of Funa Seth. And again, Miss Siafino is contesting for the House of Delegates that is state of Maryland. When I make sure say between June fourteenth to the twenty sixth. All diaspora and Sierra Leoneans within District 24, even if you're not there within District 24, you're in a mainland, come and support me. We. we need 265 volunteers for man pulling stations them on the day of election, when June 26th. We'll get for back on door to door campaigns within we communities them. You were there within District 24 in a mainland, Lago, Michelville, Lanham, all inside in the Hyattsville. When I come out and support me, see a feeling campaign, the brochures are there, and I look forward to an all for May 19th. May 19th, don't forget, within the diaspora, any side we did. Come out and support me, see, I feel in, in campaign. And they post the flag that I all want to see him. Love and I all want to take care. Bye-bye. May 19th is the day to look out for me, see, I feel in fundraising event. Come with whatever you have, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.